What's up, people? It's your boy, okay? And today's subject is a little bit interesting. So we're, you know, when you're in your Instagram and you're just scrolling through all the posts and then you find that post that kind of really inspires you. Uh, you see a picture and then you're like, I, I would really like to take this kind of picture. This looks so awesome and I would want, I really want to take it. Now, you don't always get to take these kind of pictures like maybe you're in the wrong place maybe you're in a different country but sometimes like they're doable and today's picture that i'm going to show you in a little bit or like maybe in the end maybe if you go to this time right here you can see the picture but i would hope if you would wait and see how things develop until we get that picture so what happened is <laughs> the chance came without me even trying to go for it it's kind of a this is the this is why the, the title is the lucky bucket shot. So uh, me and my partner in crime, uh, Max, we he's uh, my co-host on the podcast, uh, Tokyo AM. Check it out. Links below. Uh, we decided to go and shoot near Ochanomizu. Ochanomizu is an area in downtown Tokyo. Uh, it was... Uh, we we met uh, around after I finished my work. Uh, he was already there. So the cameras that we shoot with that we shot with, I shot with my Canon M50. I uh, with this uh, 16 millimeter and uh, 30 millimeter Sigma lenses. Uh, Max shot with uh, let me check Sony Alpha 9 with the 100 millimeter f 2.8 and Sigma 24 f 2.8. So he arrived before me and he started shooting away already. After that, I, cu I caught up to him and uh, we started shooting. That was I took a couple of shots and then I realized that I actually wanted to do something else. I wanted to show you behind the scenes. So I put on my Insta360, not the 360 uh, like uh, lens, but the 4K one and started shooting away with the be behind the scenes shots. I think the most interesting about this is not the shots themselves as you can see these might be uh, pretty regular shots but then when you're going with the the, the fun when you're when you're taking the shots for example this shot is taken by me and max and we almost framed it exactly the same i think i followed <laughs> i followed them there and i took the same sh like shot but uh it was interesting to even see the uh, <laughs> here I, I miss up his shot. Uh, he was just standing right down in the middle of the street uh, trying to get the frame that he wants. And then I just jumped over there and <laughs> kind of pulled him. I uh, messed up his shot. And he's like, wow, you kind of shook my hand. And I'm like, yeah, a car was about to hit you. Here Max brings his mask. Max brings his mask. Like that sounds interesting. <laughs> and we start shooting away with it. It's, I don't know. <laughs> the camera kept struggling to focus in here, by the way. It's, it kept focusing on the nose instead of focusing on the face. I don't blame it, but yeah, that was not the intention. Then this is one of the 
freakiest shots that we took like it doesn't the picture doesn't give it enough credit it looked the building was really really freaky and here i almost dropped the camera and this is why the picture is shaky but i decided to roll with it The following picture is very interesting because I posted it on Instagram and I was like, do you know what this is? Of course, if you see it this way and with the behind the scenes, you're gonna, it's gonna be obvious like that. It's kind of a chair or a bench or whatever. But uh, when I posted it on Instagram like this, uh, people didn't know. <laughs> people didn't know, like no one, nobody ever guessed that this is a, like a chair, but then I don't blame them. And then it happened and I'm actually I'm upset that I mean I was the, the battery of the Insta360 was getting weaker and I was I, I I I was not thinking when I took the picture I was really happy that oh like they always say like look uh, look upwards like look above you when you're taking pictures there might be interesting things over there and it is true I was we were behind like between these buildings these big buildings and I I just looked up and there it was, the, the picture that I've always wanted to take and I, I freaking took it. I that, I was so happy when I took it. Uh, most, I don't know, most of you might go like, but this is like a regular picture or maybe there's nothing much to it. But I was really happy and excited when I took it. I, I really thought I was like, yeah, and like I, I was dancing. Probably it was weird, probably. I already showed you the picture like uh, I was really happy like this is the picture of my dreams kind of not my dreams but one of the pictures that I really wanted to take for a long time but uh, why are we still showing you the video because other things also happen this is why I love shooting you go out you want to shoot one thing and then life happens and you enjoy other stuff too so we continued on our path we took a couple of pictures here and there And uh, then suddenly, this happens. So obviously we stayed in there, we took pictures and uh, more videos. And th this was so, so enjoying for us. It, it was unbelievable. It was the perfect end to a very cool night out. Uh, this, the picture of the mask, uh, the pictures of the, the people in there, like just the whole atmosphere was amazing. So what's the point of this video? I'm just trying to show you that some lucky shots are like you do work for them. You do, you do your shot, you do your, you do your best. You go out there, you shoot, you try things, and then sometimes what you want, what you look for is just gonna uh, come your way. That being said, I think this <laughs> I've been talking for most of the video. I am trying this new format. I'm sorry if you, if this is weird or am I talking too much? Definitely give me feedback if this is working for you guys or not, if you like it or not, because I'm intending to do this a whole lot more. I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes and basically talking you through my shoot and what was going through my mind when I was shooting. Uh, I hope this was informational for you guys. And definitely, if you liked it, give me a like. This will help me a lot. Subscribe to the channel. I am I think I'm 100 and... I, at this point, I just don't want to say how many subscribers do I have because... Yeah, it's embarrassing. That's it for me for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Peace!